Sometimes surviving breast cancer can feel like just the first step. Which is what led me here to the wilds of Utah after two years of dealing with breast cancer and its aftermath. A lot of us, you know, are told, well, you're done now, you should go back to your normal life. And we've been forever altered. Jillian Lachota founded I Rise Above Breast Cancer after she was diagnosed at 35. The day that I found out that I was pregnant, I also found out that I had breast cancer. She couldn't find any resources for younger women dealing with cancer. You know, create the world that you want to see, so that I did. <laughs> I Rise Above focuses on fitness, mindfulness, camaraderie, and adventure. So I mentioned I'm petrified of heights. Pushing women to do things they think they can't. This is really hard. There's no boundaries to what you can or cannot do. Kate Lowry finished chemo three days after this climb. <laughs> I was never doing this before really? this all happened. No. So it's crazy that it takes something like this <laughs> to, you know, push yourself even further. Of course, along with the summits, there are valleys. Jillian's cancer returned, stage four metastatic. Sorry. I'm so petrified of it coming back. And yet I see you living this amazing life and doing so much. How do you do it? I just don't want cancer to take anything more of me. Today, she has no evidence of disease and prefers the term breast cancer thriver, inspiring others to challenge expectations. Good, I did it! <laughs> and rise above. I rise! Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Orderville, Utah. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.